Hey guys, okay today um, we're going to be having a complete guide and um, a complete look at the Sima X5C quadcopter and um, there's two variations of this, there's the older X5C model and um, there's this one which is the X5C one um, they're all branded up as X5C now but that is uh, the latest version there you can see a slight difference in the print from that one to that one Okay, so let's have a look at um, what you get first. Um, you obviously you get the quadcopter, um, the four propellers that are attached, and also a spare set of uh, propellers. Um, this comes with the landing gear, which is this here, and also a um, 720p HD camera. Okay, so um, the remote control is this here. It takes four AA batteries, like so. And that's a basic look at the um, control and the quadcopter. Also in the package is of course the battery and um, a battery charger there. So that just plugs into there and you can put the USB into your PC or um, other power supply. Um, the SD card that comes with the camera also comes with a micro SD adapter. These will, these will vary from um, one model to the other. So um, right, first thing you want to do is get started with, uh, with your quadcopter. So, um, just show that the prop protectors also come with this. So um, if you're new to flying, I mean once you've been flying a bit, you'll usually fly without them on like this. But um, if you're new to flying, I'd suggest um, you put these on. They attach just by one screw there and they're quite easy to fit. The advantage of this is if you're flying about and you're not sure how to fly at first and you bump into things like so, the um, blades won't get damaged or bent and um, it should bounce away okay so if you need to fly and I would put the um, prop protectors on it does add a little bit more weight to the quadcopter but it's a very stable quadcopter so uh, it will avoid a, a bit of damage so anyway that's the uh, one with the prop protectors on and that's the one with them off and um, as you can see this one looks quite a lot bigger so uh, it's up to you a lot of people once you've been flying for a bit you uh, you lose the prop protectors sorry <laughs> Okay, so um, you want to get started with the uh, quadcopter. So first thing you want to do is, very important, have the quadcopter on a level surface. So it's on a nice flat surface. First of all, make sure your um, stick's down there on the throttle. And you want to switch on the remote control. And then you want to switch on the quadcopter. And when you do, you'll see it uh, start flashing. So that is randomly flashing, well, pretty fast flashing. And now it's gone to a steady flash. Now that that's on a steady flash, you can sync it up. So up on the throttle, down on the throttle, and that's the quadcopter and the radio control are synced up and um, ready to go. Okay, so um, it's very important you have that on a stable, on a level surface as you're um, syncing it up. Now, other people, you may find that your quadcopter isn't flying stable. It might go to the front or it might go to the back and it's not going straight up when you press on the throttle. Now, this is the throttle here. When you're pushing on this, it should basically go straight up. So um, if your quadcopter isn't doing that, first of all, very important, is make sure your propellers are on in the right order. So um, it's very important, you see, because two motors turn one way and two motors turn the other way. So um, it's very important these are on in the right place. So if you turn your quadcopter that way up, the two red bits at the top and the two blue bits on the bottom, and just make sure your propellers are on in that order. And uh, another thing for steady flying is you can recalibrate the quadcopter. So you have them both switched off like so. And then um, if you switch on the remote control, switch on the quadcopter. And uh, you can just up and down to sync and then push both your throttle and your direction stick to the right hand side and you'll see quadcopter starts to flash and then when it's ready and synced it will go back to normal and that's it all um, recalibrated so it's quite easy to do okay so there you go it is a very stable quadcopter so if you if you're not flying level you have got some kind of problem i mean if, it, if it, just for an example if i put it on the floor here and just bring it up you can see certainly very stable and then um, you know, it's not hard to keep it in the same position. It's a very stable quadcopter. 
Okay, so um, yeah, easy to catch it, throw it up, and uh, what have you. So the other thing that uh, comes with this, I'm going to go ahead and do some show some flight demonstrations in a minute. But uh, first of all, if we look at the camera that comes with it, and there it is. Now that's it unattached. It easily just clips onto there. Um, and there's one with the camera on. Now it's a 720p uh, definition camera, so it's um, it's quite good. It records onto the um, SD card, which goes into the back there. Now to record on the um, older versions, you press the top button when you've got the camera on. Um, now a short press will take a picture, a long press will take video. And um, on the new versions, it's the um, left trim button here, which you push in. One set to take a picture and a long press to start the video. Make sure you press it again to cancel recording when you finish shooting video so it will write to the uh, SD card. Okay, so uh, we've covered that. We looked at the camera. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to have a look at the footage from uh, this camera here. So this is the camera that comes with it and we're uh, going to see just how good the footage is. So uh, coming up next, we've got some... Um, video footage from this uh, quadcoptering camera that we've shot over the uh, past few months. So have a look at the footage and uh, we'll come back to the quadcopter, have another look at the X5C and then show you some flight demonstrations. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that um, footage from the uh, camera. That was all shot from the uh, standard camera that comes with the Simer X5C. Um, it's a compilation of flights from over the past few months. So if you do want to look at the original footage, if you look at my channel, you can see uh, all, all the past flights there. So, okay, so coming back to the Simer X5C, we've just uh, seen some video footage from the 720p cam. That um, attaches onto the uh, battery compartment there. There's a little plug-in bit there like that, and um, it will just clip. It just clips off, and there's um, a screw. Just undo that. You see, there's two screws there attaching it. 
So um, as it comes, it comes in a facing down angle. Uh, you might want to modify that a bit. That's that's quite good for high flights. I've also got um, a modified angle, so it's got a bit of a sticky bit there, and I'll put that on, and that'll give it a more straight view as it flies. So um, that's a look at footage from the camera, and um, a look at the um, video that it takes. Um, we'll just go back to the quadcopter now, and just look at some basic flying instructions. So, take a look at the remote. We've had a look at the uh, basic instructions before. Um, you've got the throttle on the left and you've got the direction on the right. So pushing up and down on the throttle will uh, bring the quadcopter up as you push up and as you push down it will bring the quad down. Um, this turns it on its axis like so and um, you've got the direction button here which will go um, forward which will be like that. Left, right and then backwards obviously. So there you go. Okay so if um, we want to get started and flying again, we showed you before how to sync it up. We will show some um, flight demonstration footage coming up next to finish the video, um, showing it flying both in the day and the night time. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll just, um, as we showed before, sync it up. So we want the quadcopter on the level surface, power on the remote control, sorry, the radio control. Bad habit of saying that. And um, when the lights are steady flashing, we want to go up and down. And you can see it's all steady and it's all synced up, ready to fly. So, as I said before, that's the throttle there on the left. You can uh, change the mode on this quadcopter. Now, um, on some quadcopters, changing the mode will change the stick direction. So you've got the throttle on this side and the direction on that side instead. But uh, not so on the Simon X5C. What that does is that changes your rates. So uh, it's basically two modes of flying. Now, uh, if you can see on the screen there, it's on mode one. Now, if you want to change from mode one to mode two, you just add the remote control, so radio control off, and you see your trim button here on the right. What you want to do is you want to push that to the right while switching the remote controller, and now you can see we're in mode two. So um, it's basically different rates. So you want to try flying in, in both rates, see which one you prefer, indoors, outdoor, etc. So I'll just do that again. We'll turn it off. It's on mode two. And flip back to mode 1, we've got the trim button here on the right, push to the right, switch on, and we're back into mode 1 again. Okay, so that's showing your mode button. And then, um, let's flip this off again, so if we go and stick the quad up to back up again, as we showed before, we've got the throttle stick on the left, up, and down, and we're all sicked up to go. Okay, so yeah, good thing about this. You can um, throw it into the air, or you can put it on the ground and fly it up yourself, but you can throw it in and easily um, catch the stability with it. Good way to catch it is to just fly it into your hand there, or you know, if you prefer it first, stick it on the ground there. Slowly, so you're going on your throttle there, slowly up, a bit of adjustment there, so there, forward, back. Now when you're first learning, it's good, you can keep it, you know, just at a nice level like that and, you know, just kind of drag it across the floor. And when you start to get a bit more confident, bring it up. And quite about, so you can see, very responsive. If I get it in with the remote, turn right, left, forward, back, up. Does what everything you command it to do so very very stable and once again we'll fly it up a little bit bring it back and catch in there not the best catch but there you go so the landing gear is quite good if you're going to be landing it down on the floor so that's something worth having on we've um, covered the prop protectors when you've started flying and you're new to flying it is quite handy to have that on as it will protect the propellers when you're banging into things and stuff Try and stay away with trees with these on because they've got a nasty habit of getting caught up in the leaves and what have you. But uh, yeah, they're very good for protecting the propellers which you'll find you'll bend and snap and what have you quite a lot at first if you don't have these um, prop guards on. Okay, so that's um, some of the basic uh, functions, how to fly it and uh, what have you. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to show you this um, Simon X5C quadcopter in action with some uh, video footage that we've uh, shot over the past few months and this will be showing the quadcopter flying
both in the daytime and the night time. So uh, that footage coming up now. Okay, so I hope you um, enjoyed that flight footage and I hope this video has been helpful. If um, you've got any questions and you need to know anything else, then um, just put some uh, comments and questions underneath the video and uh, I'll try and help you. So um, that's a, a guide and flight demonstration to the Simer X5C quadcopter and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching.